here is another question that a couple of our viewers had and I thought that I would try and clear it up in this video. And I've already made a couple of videos on how to design a gable roof. I will try to put some links in the video description box to those videos. And for the most part, what I suggested in those videos was dividing the base up into segments and then using a circle or a curve from a center point to figure out the locations where those roof rafters will connect to to create the most common gamble roof. And of course that would look something like this. And I do realize that some people think that this will be a 45 degree angle, but that won't always be the case. And as far as I'm concerned, these angles can all vary. You do not need to use this particular method here where we simply divided everything up into six segments down here that are all equal sized and then used the first line on each side along with the center of the building with equal measurements on both sides and of course working within the realms of the curve here. And I'm here to suggest that we don't need to do that. You can divide it up into four, six, or eight, even ten sections. And I'm guessing that they will all need to be even because I haven't figured out how to do one where we would use five sections or seven sections or even three sections. And again, we're going to have the same height here on this side and on this side. And of course, these would be dictated by the curved layout if we are going to use that method. However, we could always get rid of the circle and then go ahead and just choose our own measurement here. So here we're going with the same distance here in width as we will be vertical, producing a 45 degree angle, and then went ahead and used the same measurement here up here to create the gamble roof that will not be using a curved or radius layout. And I can change these measurements if I want to, to create this type of design or change them again to create this design, or even change them again to create this type of design. So again, we don't need to use the curved layout method if we don't want to, or if it's actually going to be easier for you. And we don't even need to divide the building up into segments if we don't want to do that either. However, we are going to need to have the distance on each side from right to left or the outside of the building along with using the center line in the building so that our rafters will be the same sizes in hopes of designing something that will look like a gamble roof. Not too difficult, I hope. Make sure that this measurement and this measurement is the same this measurement and this measurement is the same and that these two measurements are the same and of course I will leave this measurement here up to you. This measurement does not need to match anything unless we are going to be using our curved radius layout.